Hello and welcome to OHVA. Welcome to Gothic Literature. Um, I want to take a moment to go over the blog project that you will be completing this, this semester in the course. I know that you have enrolled a little bit later. That's why this week is going to be focused on, you're not going to work on the content this week, you're only going to be working on blog project posts. Um, you'll complete one a day and if you do that then you're going to be caught up in no time. Alright, um, there's only, th there's one, let's go over how this is going to work and then how we're going to have you get caught up, okay? Alright, so, why blog? The this semester's blog project is a great way to allow you to reflect on what's being learned in the course and at the same time take your learning and direction that you choose. Um, at the beginning of the semester I asked a lot of the students, I, I not asked a lot, I asked everyone to tell me what they had hoped to gain out of this class and everybody was saying something different so we're rolling with it and we're going to be um, allowing you to learn what you want from Gothic Lit um, in a, in, through this project. Um, it's really great to blog because it allows for that open reflection. It helps you find your voice and when you learn through different mediums you can increase your knowledge. Okay? So, how is this going to work? You are going to need to create a new Google or Word doc for your blog. Or if you're feeling adventurous, you could create your own blog site um, or a Google site. I've got students doing all different options and it's been so wonderful reading um, everything that's being created the creativity that's being created on these websites or, like or simply in a word doc uh, it's up to you I want you to have fun with this project I want you to make this project your own okay I know it's overwhelming start, uh, starting in a new school but this hopefully you will find to be very fun um, each week, I am going to give you a new prompt that you're going to need to respond to. You're going to add a blog post to the same document each week. So, uh, at the end of the semester, the document should have 15 different blog posts. So, for example, if you're working in Google Docs, you're going to save that same Google Docs link to the Dropboxes each week. Okay? Whoops. Okay, so how will you be graded? 75 points of this project is simply by participation. You have to get your blog posts in by the due date each week, which is Sunday at 11.30 p.m. I'm giving you two extra days. All other assignments are due by Friday 11.30, but this one I'm giving two extra days because it's an extension of your work in the class. This is going to be graded for completion. Um, it just allows, makes sure that you're participating in the project at the pace that you're supposed to be taking it at. And it allows me to check in and give you points, not points, pointers on how to improve your score for the final project. Because this is a participation grade, that means you are actually participating. And I'm not going to accept this late. The first three blog posts that you missed, get them in this week. This is your only focus for this. Um, the only blog post that I'm like hard set not going to give you extra time for is going to be blog post four because you are here that week. Okay. Um, if you have questions about this, just email me. I'm more than happy to go over this with you. Um, one exception, if you speak to me before the Thursday of the week, I will get, let you turn it in late by a day or two, but you have to talk to me first. Because I understand that things do happen. Um, during the submissions, I'm going to give you revision tips, or maybe about extending your blog, um, or I'm just going to say, okay, it looks awesome. Um, but it's really going to be um, about making sure that you're participating and progressing in that project. This is not something you want to have, have wait. This is going to be the uh, half of your final um, about or half half of your final for the class. So you really need to make sure that you are doing this. Okay, again, it's half of your final exam. Okay, completion or quality of work. As I previously stated, this is going to be half of your final exam, and you're going to be required to revise and resubmit the entire blog project. Um, as a whole at the end of the semester. So here is how you're going to be graded. Um, it's going to be over content and originality, your writing quality, the writing style, uh, empirical evidence. You're going to have to do research and if citing 
where you found the different um, blog post items and then you need to have it a visual appeal. Um, you know, it needs to be very visually appealing, relevant with original pictures created for the project. It needs to be organized and make sense for the viewer, i.e. me. All right, so where are you gonna find these? We started our blog project in unit one, which is when Gothic is delicious, and we started it in week three. So each week you're gonna find it. And as, as you remember from my email, the first number on an assignment indicates which week you can find it in. So when I say it's 3.2, you're going to be able to find that blog post project, and, uh, that assignment in week three. Each week you're going to see the prompt. You're going to see um, the requirements of it and what you need to do. Okay. Um, so for the first week, you're really just going to write a paragraph introducing yourself and a paragraph explaining like what aspects of Gothic literature have you studied, what do you hope to gain from the experience. And then the next assignment from week four um, for your blog post project, you um, had a, it was about imagery and you're going to look for a picture online and you're going to explain how it connects to the elements of the gothic genre. Again, I, I, as I said in my email, I'm not going to require you to do the goth, when Gothica is delicious uh, unit because you have, because um, you're coming in late and I don't want to make you go back in the class, but I would really suggest taking a little bit of time to really diving in there because that's going to be what helps strengthen your blog project. Then week five, which was last week, um, we ha you had to find an article that expanded your knowledge on Gothic literature, and you had to write an explanation of twenty, or I'm sorry, of two hundred words of what you learned from the article. This week, um, this week you're going to be um, creating your own blog soundtrack. Okay, all right. So if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to call me email me or text me. Um, I'm more than happy to help you in any way that I can. Thank you so much.